So I walk in today and they're getting shit done. This frame's heading into powder coat here shortly. So this uh, 03 CR250 is gonna be sold to a customer. This is gonna be converted into a three-wheeler. It's gonna look very similar to the last one we actually did. So red frame, gold swing arm. It's kind of gonna be a ATC 250R theme replica. How's everything coming apart? Decent? Yeah, half decent. Half decent for a, for a Monday morning? Yeah, that's a little beat. <laughs> nah, not too bad. It's just the year of it, honestly. I think they just they just take a beating over the years, but luckily we don't use most of the parts. We're saving the motor and the frame, gas tank, forks. Yeah, you got the parts done last week. So it'll be a good Monday. Oh, do they have two master links on this chain? Of course they do. Look at that. Are they backwards too? I was like, oh, I'm gonna go take the master link. Well, I'll like, give him, I'll give him the fact that he put them on the right direction. Well, yeah, but, but I was like, oh, I'm gonna take one off. Well, you get two today, but. Well, you still take one, I guess. Take the chain <laughs> off at least. Oh. Nice. Got the wheels off here. I think I mentioned it in the last video, but if you guys need a wheel set for a CR250 or other Hondas, that they'll fit. These are gonna be for sale. They're in really good shape. A little dirty, but can't really complain about that too much. I'd say these are probably around 500 bucks. You can see a couple little Little scratches from changing tires, um, no flat spots. I am going to keep the front rotor for the build. But yeah, I will sell this wheel set for a couple hundred bucks. Spring's going to get powder coated, suspension's going to get all freshened up and rebuilt. More forks to build? Dude, we always got forks to do. Seals actually aren't leaking, surprisingly. <coughs> he did mention he had it rebuilt. Not bad, not bad for a Monday job, right? Yeah, we'll be, be changing that lever out. A little play. A little play. This will be a thumb throttle gear to this. Save this though for possibly a 500 build. Let's get a new cover for it. Not everybody wants a thumb throttle, right? <laughs> Old pivot bolt was a little rusted in there. Always grease your bike up, kids. Gotta take care of your bikes. This is what happens. It's always the ones that are supposedly mint that were well maintained. They come out all rusty. Rusty and crusty. They think if you polish the frame just, and just polish the frame, it's good enough maintenance. Brand new bike. Brand new bike again. <laughs> Get that pipe off. I want to check the piston out. He said it was rebuilt, so I said it was like just rebuilt. I mean, the thing ran beautiful. Got an 8mm, Alex. Pop that, actually that's a 10. Pop that 10 and then this eight down here. These things are so sweet. The 10 mils on Monday back order already. <laughs> Been here for an hour. It was a Saturday back order now. It's a, it's a back of the lamb for all the hanger off get it out of the way dude you already beat you to it you need an 8 mil still <laughs> yeah. still need an 8 mil whatever takes the bolt out
can do this one if you want to just leave the hanger on the pipe for now. Hold on. Alex, did you sit out in the sun too long yesterday? Uh, yeah, I just floated down the river for like six hours. It's fine. You got a video of that? Can insert a little oh, clip of that, maybe? Oh, man. I just gotta get a flashlight. Well, I can't turn it over, there's a strap, but we'll check it out after it's out. Cool. God, look at this mess. Got the little bar and chain oil for the chain lube, sprayed everywhere. Cool. And for the fun part. Mess. Got a lot to throw away. Well, guys, on to the next video. Alex and RJ fashion tools on the floor and a big old mess, but they're gonna get this picked up and get that torn down, rebuilt. Everything's gonna get basically cleaned up and ready to go. Um, the frame's heading off the powder coat right now. I got the human forklift rolling inside. A little delivery from IMS. We got a pretty sweet setup. Um, yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Um, probably be in a day or so. We'll have the frame powder coated and start bolting the chassis back together on this uh, CR250 Trek build. And I'm gonna move on to the KTM now. So that thing's just about finished up and we're gonna go from there. Stay tuned for that video, guys. If you guys like two-stroke content, comment. We love the feedback.